Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to get ID of last inserted record in Laravel 5 point application. Sometime we need to get last inserted record ID, then at that time this tutorial will help you to get last inserted data ID in Laravel application. In Laravel 5 point framework, you can get last inserted ID in four different way. So in this video tutorial, we will discuss all four types, how we can get last insert record ID in Laravel 5.8 framework. This is our Laravel working folder. Here first we want to make database connection. So we have open.env file define MySQL database configuration like host, database name and username. After make database connection, we want to make model file, so we have go to command prompt, and write following command, it will make last ID model file. So we have open last ID model file, and under this we have write protect statement with dollar fillable is equal to first name, and last name in array format. After run model command, it has also make database migration file, which we can find here. So we have opened this file. Under this file, up method we have defined table column like first name and last name by writing this code. Now we want to migrate this table definition to MySQL database, so we have go to command prompt and write following command, it will create lasted's table in testing table. Now we want to make controller, so we have go to command prompt and write this command. This command will make last ID controller file. So, we have open last ID controller file, and under this we have make index method, this is root method of this controller. Under this, we have write, return statement with view method, and under this we have write sample form view file. It will load sample form.blade.php file under browser. Now we have open sample form.blade.php file, and here we have first make HTML form, so here we have write form method is equal to post, ID is equal to sample form. Under this form, first we have write at the rate csrf directive, it will automatically make hidden field with token value, for prevent cross-site request forgery attack. For enter first name details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to first name. Same way for enter last name details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to last name. For submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name is equal to submit and value is equal to submit, by click on this button user can submit form data. Below this table we have create, division tag with ID is equal to last inserted ID, under this we will display last inserted ID value. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, 
So here we have write dollar with form ID sample form with on method. Under this we have write submit event. So when form has been submitted then this block of code will execute. Under this first we have write event dot prevent default method. By using this method it will stop to submit form data to server. Now we have start write ajax request. Under this first we have write url option set to laravel expression with root method. And under this we have write last id dot get id. It will called get id method of last id controller. In second option, we have write method, which has been set to post. It will post method for submit data. In third option, we have write data option which has been set to dollar this with serialize method, it will convert form data into URL encoded string. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we have write JSON, so it will receive data from server in JSON format. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, first we want to clear form data, so here we have write dollar with form ID sample form with zero index dot reset method, it will clear all form fields. After this we want to display last insert ID value on web page, so here we have write dollar with division tag last inserted ID, with HTML method, and under this we have write data dot ID, it will display value of last inserted ID on web page. Now we have go to last ID controller, and here we have write, use statement with database class object by using this we can use laravel database class for database operation after this we have create get id method with request object it will received ajax request for get value of last inserted id Under this, first we have write, if statement and under condition we have write dollar request with ajax method, if this method has received ajax request, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with first key first name value, get from dollar request with first name object and in second key we have write last name and its value get from dollar request variable with last name object so here we have store form data under this dollar data variable in array format here we have use first method for get last inserted id, so here we have write dollar last id variable is equal to database class with table method, and under this we have write table name last ids. This method will modify a table on the schema, after this we have write insert get id method, with dollar data as argument. This method will insert new record and return insert data primary value. So, here we have store, last insert id in dollar last id variable, now we want to send this value to ajax request in json format, so here we have write return statement with response method.
This method will send response to AJAX request. Now we want to send response in JSON format. So here we have write JSON method with array. In key we have write ID and in value we have write dollar last ID variable. This code will send last inserted ID to AJAX request in JSON format, which will be display on web page. Now we want to set root for controller method. So, we have open web.php file, and here we have write root class with get method, and under this we have write last ID, and in second argument we have write last id controller at the rate index method it will called index method of last id controller below this we have write root class with post method and under this first argument we have write last id slash get id and in second argument we have write last id controller at the rate get id method it will called get id method of last id controller after this here we have write name method and under this we have write last id dot get id this for ajax request now we have check output in browser friends here we can see that here we have enter base url slash last id then on web page we can see that simple form for enter first name and last name details. Now we have fill form details, and after filling form details, we have click on submit button, after click on submit button, below button we can see value of last inserted ID. Here in database also, we can see data has been inserted with this particular ID, so this is first method by which we can get value of last inserted ID. Now we have go to, last ID controller get ID method, and first we have comment this code. After this, here we have write database class, with table method, and under this we have write lasted's table name after this we have write insert method with dollar data variable this code will insert a new record in database after this we have write dollar last id variable is equal to database class with get do method and after this we have write last insert id method here we have use do object, with last inserted id method, this method, will return value of last inserted id, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, we have enter details in first name and last name text box field. Now we have click on submit button, after click on submit button we can see last inserted id value too, so this is second way by which we can get last inserted id value in Laravel 5.8 framework. For third method, we have go to last id controller, and here first we have comment this code. Now we will use modal for get last inserted ID. For this here we have write, use statement with app folder with forward slash with last ID modal name. And here, we have write dollar result variable is equal to, last ID modal class with create method, and under this we have write dollar data variable, this method will insert data in table and return result in object. Which has been store under dollar result variable. Now forget last inserted ID. 
here we have write dollar result variable with id object now we have check output in browser friends first we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page on web page we can see blank form data so we have fill first name and last name details and click on submit button after click on submit button on web page we can see id value of last inserted records so here we have get last inserted by using create method of laravel modal now we have go to last id controller and here first we have comment this code now we have discuss fourth method by which we can get last inserted id so here we have write dollar result variable is equal to new last id modal here we have create object from last id modal class below this we have write dollar result variable with first name object is equal to dollar request variable with first name object after this we have write dollar result variable with last name object is equal to dollar request variable with last name object so here we have store form data under this dollar result variable in object format now we have write dollar result variable with save method it will insert dollar result object data into mysql table and return result in object format which has been store under dollar result variable here we do not want to change because here also dollar result variable with id object will return last inserted id value now we have check output in browser friends first we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page we can see blank form on web page so we have fill form details after fill form details we have click on submit button after click on submit button on web page we can see last inserted id for on web page so this way we can get value of last insert id by using save method of laravel eloquent modal so here we have discuss for method like insert get id method last insert id method create method and lastly we have seen save method for get last inserted id so this way we can get last inserted id value in laravel 5.8 framework if you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our youtube channel for get more update regarding release of future video lastly keep watching our youtube channel thanks for watching this video tutorial